Hi everyone, this is Elena of The Witch's Box and I'm here today with the one and only Witch Booktube video for the month of December 2019. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is where we're at. But also, I can't believe that it's been so long since I've sat in front of this camera to do a video. It feels like it's been forever. I sent out an email to our newsletter list, but I also sent a little note on this channel that I was going into a fallow period for the end of the year. I needed to just kind of pull back, shut some things down. I'm still in it. I'm still in this place where it's always really important to still yourself for a while at the end of each year. I don't actually even think that it matters necessarily what hemisphere you're on because here in the northern hemisphere we're in the winter time and winter for me is all about going into the cave. It's all about going under. I do dark work, shadow work during this time of the year. I also just do a lot of necessary resting and dreaming and visioning for what's coming. But if you are on the Southern Hemisphere and you are right at the apex of summer, summer is about to just kind of hit and you're in the apex of fire, the sun, summer, it's it. Even if that's where you're at, you're still also coming through and ending our calendar year. And I I just really love and get a lot out of, let's take some inventory. What has happened this year? What has been amazing? What was challenging? What needs to change? What are you bringing with you? What are you not bringing with you into the new year? So all of that to say that I have taken a break. I've taken a quasi break because life keeps happening. The business keeps rolling. There's still work to be done. There are things that I've limited. And one of the things that I've limited has been the booktube videos, which I love. I'm now in front of the camera and I got to tell you that I feel super rusty. Like, oh, it has been a while, even though it's really only been about three or four weeks. In any case, there's three videos going out this month. This is one of them where I review two books, but the other two will be about the Yule Sabbat or Summer Solstice Sabbat book giveaway. Every Sabbat we do a giveaway. In any case, those are the videos that are gonna go out and this video. This video is about two books and these are the two books that we sent out in November, on November 1st, for our Witches Book Box subscription, okay? So for those of you who don't know, we have a book subscription where every month we send out two books that I curate for you. For all of us to read as a group, we have a live private forum on the website so that throughout that month while we're reading the book, we're sharing with each other. You're gonna see like, I have all these like post-it notes because I take notes on what I wanna talk about and we go into the forum together. We share our thoughts, what we liked, what we didn't like, what questions come up. There's dialogue around that. And that happens throughout the month while we're reading the book. And then at the end of each month, we have a live online Witches Book Coven gathering where we get together and we just talk face to face like a total coffee clatch witch version where we drink whatever we're drinking. We're talking about what we loved and what we didn't like about the book and what we, our thoughts were. But also when I can wrangle it, we have an author, the author of the books that we read, come join us and talk to us about the books that they wrote. We can ask them questions and they can answer us. We can talk about anything. I love asking questions like, what's your writing process like? What are you working on next? Like, I want to know the goods, right? So we have an opportunity to sit with the authors because you know me, I am like a book nerd, fiend, freak. I love books. I love writing. I love the entire culture around it. And that we can sit down with the authors of these books to me is like amazing. So that's what the month looks like. When you subscribe, that's what you get. So the books that I'm talking about today were the books that we sent out November 1st. And they were both by Jason Miller, who did join us for our live gathering a couple of weeks ago. It was awesome. And the books were Financial Sorcery and The Elements of Spellcraft. These books, if you were not subscribed and you did not get these books, get these books. That's what I'm saying. Get these books. These are fantastic books. Here's what I love about Jason Miller. He is incredibly practical. His writing is very easy. It flows really well. He's very down to earth, but he's incredibly strategic and detailed in the way he conveys his information. He has a perspective on magic that I think every one of us needs to understand and learn. He talks about the micro enchantments, the macro enchantments. He talks about the things that we really need to understand, particularly when it comes to financial sorcery, which is something that we're all always talking about. On the regular, we get in from, you know, we get questions about how do I get more money? How do I, need, I need money. How do I spell for money? I need a money spell. This is a comprehensive book on all the different aspects of money, both mundane as well as magical. These are books that you have to have in your library. I don't say that about a lot of books, you know that, but I can't say enough about these books. 
they were fantastic. In the Elements of Spellcraft, he talks about 21 keys to successful sorcery. I'm going to read to you really quickly what the table of contents for this book is. So he breaks it up into three parts. Setting up the spell, the execution, and advancing your craft. And within each of those sections, he's got different keys that he talks about. Key number one is know what your magic actually does. Key number two is stop making crappy goals. I think this is really important. People don't talk about this enough, but just the practical advice of how to actually set an attainable goal as, as opposed to what he calls a crappy goal. Key number three, make sure your life is enchantable. This was a great chapter. Key number four, everything matters. Key number five, matters does not mean necessary. Key number six, make skillful statements of intent. Key number seven, emergency magic is bad magic. Can I say this? He, he talks about this actually from a very different, not a very different perspective, but a little bit of a different perspective. But what I say often, and I say this often to a lot of you when I was accepting DMs through Instagram, when you try to do a spell out of desperation, it doesn't work. Stop it. It's not the time to do a spell. There needs to be actually, I need to do a blog post on this because there's a lot that goes into this. In any case, he talks about this from a little bit of a different perspective, but it's an important thing to remember. Key number eight, embrace the power of offerings. Key number nine, do it yourself is overrated. Key number 10, use macro and micro enchantments. He goes into what that is and why. Key 11, you are a spirit too. Key 12, check your links. He'll explain what that is. Key 13, practice sane eclecticism. Key 14, magic is a rhizome. It's a root. I mean, these are great chapters and chapter names. Key 15, judge success skillfully. How do you know when your uh, spell was actually successful and how to assess what that means? Important information. Key 16, enchant for what you don't deserve. He speaks a lot about upper limits syndrome. He talks about it as in terms of set points. I call them upper limits, but we are all walking around with certain limitations that are imposed upon us through culture, through upbringing, through belief systems that we've acquired throughout the course of our experiences in life and how to move past that, grow bigger around those and beyond those limitations. Key 17, work outside the columns. Key 18, failing without flailing. Key 19, know where your scarcity lies. Key 20, trade in goals for trajectory. This is also part of that strategic magic creation that I think is so important. We'll be talking a lot about this in the future. Key 21, maintain sovereignty. And then he's got a couple of appendices. It's an easy read. There's a lot of information in here. It's a really easy read. His writing lends itself to a beautiful flow. Get this book. There's going to be a link to this below. Then there is financial sorcery. Listen, we are all super uneducated when it comes to managing our money. There is, we talked about this actually in the video about the, the pagan poverty syndrome that why, why are pagans, why are witches struggling with finances and economy and, and, and wealth and lack of wealth? And what does that mean? This book addresses some of that. Please get it because there is also very practical information on what to do in your day-to-day -day life in terms of managing your money, in terms of how you treat your money, in terms of how you manage the, the whole scope and path of your life when it comes to money. Instead of thinking about money and dealing with money in the now and this immediacy that we tend to get stuck in that just does not allow for proper planning and proper preparation for the things that we're going to need in our life using money. This book is both financial advice that is really sound and very mature, but it also is great financial sorcery. I'm telling you, get it, get it, get it, get it. You know, we love his writing here. I highly recommend this book. He came and he joined us for our live and that was fantastic. He talked to us about what he's writing next. He talked to us about the classes that he's offering. He talked about his opinions on things like why there is this such scarcity syndromes going on in the pagan community, get the book. If you have not subscribed yet to the Witch's Book Box subscription, please do so. And here's what you need to know. On the 15th of December is the deadline to subscribe and make sure that you get the January books. If you subscribe after the 15th, you won't get books until February. This is important because January 1st is the month that we are going to be sending out, finally, the Jane Meredith books that I've been talking about for 
months. So when we first wanted to launch this subscription, my intention was to send out two of Jane Meredith's books. One of them is called Journey to the Dark Goddess, and the other one is Aspecting the Goddess. I really wanted to start with these books because it speaks to what it looks like. She gives you both personal like memoir, anecdotal information on how she does this and how she's experienced this, but she also speaks to the importance of intentionally, almost like intentionally scheduling time for yourself to go and do shadow work or go into the underworld and do dark shadow, dark goddess work, as opposed to being thrown into it by the circumstances of our lives. I feel that this is one of the most important things as a witch, as a deep working witch, that skill that you can acquire and have. I think that this book is really important. She does a phenomenal job of conveying it. I've read other books that try to do this and they don't do it anywhere near as good as she did. She's also a, just an amazing writer. The book, the books are both written really well. So when we first started, our subscription. I wanted to start with these books. We were going to start with these books and then we heard from the distributor that they just did not have the kind of inventory that we needed to send these out to all of our people. So we had to postpone it. They finally now have all the books that, that we need. Yay. So we're going to send them out in January. She is also going to be joining us at the end of January to talk about these books, to talk about this process, this important work, this powerful work. So you want these books. So please subscribe. That link to the subscription will be down below as well. I can't wait until January. And also this December, the month that we're in now, the books that we are reading this month that are already out in the mail, getting to homes already, we are going to have two writers. Laura Tempest Zakaroff is going to be joining us at the end of this month. I'm so excited. And so is Michael Hughes. Both of them are going to be talking with us about their books on witchcraft and politics and activism and what our role in all of that is or isn't, depending on where you stand. I'm really excited about that. So all of that to say, this book subscription is awesome. I'm so excited that we finally were able to do it. I'm so excited that it's doing so well. And I can't wait to keep reading with all of you again. The links to all of these things will be down below. I will see you again soon.